product backlog. So um, the product backlog, uh, it's it's an artifact within the SUM framework. And what it does is basically product backlog uh, holds the future plan for future sprints. What is product backlog? Product backlog holds the plan for future sprints. It contains a product goal uh, for greater focus and transparency. What uh, basically what product goal does is it keeps the entire Scrum team focused towards the goal of uh, 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 of this particular product, and uh, it helps them uh, to uh, remain uh, focused towards the product goal. And product goal is uh, shared uh, and is transparent to entire Scrum team. Then the product backlog also uh, it it uh, it has the list of what is needed to improve the product. What does that mean? Is it has the list of all the PBIs or items uh, which are needed to make the product better, which are needed to uh, increase the value of the product in uh, for the customer. And it is a order list ordered list of uh, uh, items, product backlog items, which are ordered based on various factors, including uh, return on investment, value, uh, dependencies, risk, and other factors. So the uh, product backlog items which are having higher return on value, which will give higher value to the customer, which have fewer dependencies, they will be uh, they will be coming on top uh towards the top of the product backlog and the items which will have a uh, lower uh, return on investment less value and more dependencies they will be uh, put uh, lower uh, in the product backlog transparent so the product backlog is transparent to all the stakeholders uh, for the product including the scrum team and uh, uh, and and the uh, the wider stakeholders for example the sponsor and all that and it is minimal but sufficient. So the details which are available in the product uh, uh, backlog, they are uh, and the product backlog items, they are minimum uh, minimal number of product backlog item, but they are sufficient to deliver the product. And what it have is it has two kind of items uh, in it on a very high level. One is the product goal itself. Another is uh, the product backlog items. Then the product backlog is uh, managed by the product owner. What do we mean by uh, management is the ordering of the product backlog item uh, is done by the product uh, uh, owner. Uh, what uh, uh, items, uh, what PBIs will be kept uh, inside the product backlog? Uh, that decision lies with the product owner. What will be the order of the product back, uh, backlog items? All the, those kind of decisions uh, relies with the product owner what content will be there in each of the product backlog item that is also decided product owner so yeah so the product backlog is managed by product owner then it works uh, it works as single source of work for the entire scrum team what it means is the scrum team will only work on the uh, product backlog item which are present in product backlog anything which is uh, not in product backlog uh, product backlog will uh, uh will not be worked by the scrum team only items or pbis which are present in product backlog uh, the scrum team will only work on those and then uh, product backlog maximizes the value uh, of uh, 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 the value which the product delivers and how that maximization happens is by ordering of the product backlog items so uh, when you uh, keep the items which are at uh, which will give uh, uh, highest value highest return on investment uh, uh, on top of the product backlog uh, then what it does it maximizes the value which uh, uh, will be delivered to the customer and the product backlog is never complete what does that mean is it's like a living document it uh, uh, you will keep it's dynamic uh, you will keep adding and removing things from product backlog items so in that sense it is it is never complete so as uh, as as the, the market dynamics changes as the situation in the market changes or regulatory environment changes 
or the competitive environment changes based on the situation in the market you uh, the product backlog will keep uh, evolving for example let's say now uh, you know you you had a, you had a product backlog a backlog and google uh, sorry the open ai launched uh, this uh, uh, chat gtp and what uh, it meant is that uh, uh, if uh, if you are in in a world where you have application of uh, uh, ai if your product have some application of ai that means you should have some kind of uh, uh, backlog items related to ai so what it means is in the market itself something has changed which has forced you to include uh, new features in your product which will indirectly result in you adding more items in your product backlog uh, then one product will only have one product backlog and it will only have one product owner right uh, and at a time one product backlog can have one goal uh, at multiple times it can have n number of goals but at a time there will be only one uh, leaving product goal for the entire product backlog and other thing to notice here is the pbis which are on the top they are they they uh, they they are more clearer they have more uh, clear details uh, more uh, uh, for example the title will be more clear the the description acceptance criteria all those things will be much more clearer hence you will see that the size of uh, uh, items pbi is on the top of the backlog that is much smaller uh, and the items which are on uh, you know when you go from top to down of the product backlog you will see that uh, the size of uh, the PBI is keep increasing. So the reason for that is the items are not that clear, and then we have not uh, uh, splitted uh, those uh, uh, product backlog items into uh, smaller or uh, items. So yeah, so that that's that's the idea of uh, product product backlog. Uh, uh, yeah. So this is end of uh, the section.